Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be doing my first tag that I've ever done here on YouTube. Yesterday I was watching Karen Swan from KK and Baby J and Kira from OK Baby doing the controversial parenting tag and I laughed the entire video because I don't even understand how they had the courage to even put a video like that out because these are very sensitive topics and I figured why not? I'm probably going to avoid all these questions again in the future, so for this one time, I'll just try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and get right into it. So without taking too long, let's just get started. So I'll be answering the questions two separate ways. I'll be doing a general response and then sharing what I personally do with my child. So the first one is pro-life or pro-choice. Now, I think, generally speaking, that any woman who has the opportunity to become pregnant, has a choice to stay pregnant or terminate the pregnancy. There's lots of circumstances that might affect the way their decision is made and I just think that it's your choice, like it's your body and you get to choose that. That's like you get to do that and no one can take that away from you. For me personally, I would still choose pro-choice just for the obvious reasons that I said previously. The second question is baby wearing if you're for it or against it and generally speaking I think that everyone should be for baby wearing whether you're putting them in a carrier, a sling, a wrap, whatever the case may be even if you're just holding them all the time I think that you should do it like it's your child and if you want to be closer to them or if you want to get things done while having them in your hand you should definitely be able to do that if you'd like. I personally am a big fan of baby wearing. I have worn many babies throughout my years and I definitely wear my daughter any chance that I have that I know I need to have free hands or that she needs to be close with me and I still need to get stuff done. So, I so the third question is circumcision and I am definitely for circumcision. I do not have a son myself. While I have been nannying, I have been around a few boys that have and have not been circumcised and there are a lot of benefits for them to be circumcised and especially as a newborn as opposed to like a grown man going in for that procedure. I just, I personally think that it's a good thing and again you're entitled to your opinion about that too. If I had a son, I would like to very much circumcise him. Um, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't hurt me to do it like but I think that the benefits of it outweighs the cons of like your kid having to go through that pain and whatnot. The fourth topic is adoption and generally speaking I am for adoption. I personally would not adopt because my family is complete in my eyes like we have our daughter we're having a second baby very soon and I don't see myself having three kids. I guess I would have to revisit that later in the future in case a situation did arise that had me change my mind or touch my heart and I felt the need to adopt. So the next one is baby piercing and this one I'm surprised is so controversial but I guess I mean anything dealing with kids can be controversial because there's so many different opinions about it. I think in general baby piercing is okay. I don't think it's causing too much harm to the child. I personally have pierced my daughter's ears and I truly feel that I was in more pain watching her get the piercing done than she was in pain because she literally cried for like a second and then she was over it and she never really seemed to show me any signs that she was in distress or pain afterwards. I didn't have to give her any medicine for the pain. So I think it's a good thing. So another topic that apparently is very controversial is whether to go with breast milk or formula. If you have breast milk in general, I do think that you should try breastfeeding. If it's not for you, then again, that's your choice as a woman. You get to make that choice and you can supplement for formula instead. I personally believe in breastfeeding for myself. I breastfed my daughter for 10 months and it worked out. Now this second part about the whole breastfeeding and formula is not actually in the tag, but I just wanted to voice my opinion about it anyway. And I'm sure there will be a lot of people that are unhappy with me for doing this, but I do think that if you're going to breastfeed your child, you should do it until a certain age. I think it's a little ridiculous to have a four-year-old breastfeeding. The cried out method in general is great for helping your child learn how to sleep on their own. I am actually for the cried out method as long as your child is of a certain age and they're able to respond well to it if they're just miserable and being tortured constantly I think it's just too much and maybe you should revisit it at a later time. The next one is really really hard for me to talk about because I find it's probably the most controversial parenting topic that can 
ever be talked about and that is spanking. Do I believe in spanking? I think in general that spanking is a choice that should be given to parents and parents only. I was definitely spanked as a child, but I think parents in general should really understand the difference between spanking, beating, and abusing their child. So there have been occasions where I have been in public places and I have seen kids react a certain way and I have witnessed them being spanked or thought to myself like that kid needs a spanking, but I don't know, it's just, it's it can be too much in my opinion. Now for my personal belief in what I will do with my child. So right now she's only one. I'm hoping we'll never have to go down that road. And I'm just going to leave it at that because this one is just, it's too much for me to talk about. Another topic is co-sleeping, whether I'm for it or against it. And I am definitely for co-sleeping when they're a newborn. I don't think that it's safe to have the child in the bed with you. But if they're in a bassinet near your bed or... A playpen near your bed in your room I think it's definitely a good thing for a little while I don't think it's something that I would do for a long time in fact when my daughter was just a couple months she went into her room and she has never been in her room since then there have been nights where she has had to join us in bed because she's been really fussy but that's like the rare occasion because she does sleep 12 hours in the night so I am definitely not for co-sleeping but I think in the beginning when they're newborn it's it's up to you. I did it when she was just a couple months old, so I can understand why people like doing that as well. Home, private, public versus charter school. I think that as long as your child is getting a form of very good education, then that's all that really matters. I personally would just choose public school because another is medicating children. I think that if your child needs medication and it's recommended by your doctor, then it's your choice, of course, whether you want to do it or not. If my daughter needed some sort of medication and it was highly recommended by her doctor, I would definitely do it even though I'm not a big fan of taking medicine or giving her medicine. But if it's for her benefit and it's coming from a professional, then I would definitely consider it and it's something that I would be for as opposed to against. Cloth versus disposable diapers. I think that it's great to do cloth diapering, but I would never personally do it myself. I think that if you're doing it to save the environment, then that's great. But I also think that you doing a million loads of laundry is also not good for the environment. So that's just my opinion on anyone who does do it. It's completely fine if it's what you choose, but I personally think disposable diapers are the way to go. The last topic that's in the tag is homemade baby food versus store-bought. And I personally think that everyone should at least try to make baby food first and if it's not for them then of course buy a store-bought and always make sure you check the expiration date. I personally made all the baby food for my daughter when she was an infant and I plan to do that for my next one. I do start buying store-bought food as they approach the one year mark and I think that that's fine too. So I guess I'm on both sides of the fence. I'm not really sure. If I had to choose, I would definitely choose homemade over store-bought because I think personally, everything is better homemade than when you buy it in the store. So that's it for this video, guys. I know that this is very long, but these are very controversial topics. Some of them are really hard to talk about and I encourage everyone else who's a parent to just think about these questions. And if you really enjoyed this video, comment down below which you think is the most controversial. I think the most controversial parenting topic is spanking and that's just my opinion. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!